third tip I'll give you. We're on! Keep the burly flowing. Just had plenty of hit and misses tonight. He's a big, he's a big mullet, all right. Fourth tip I got for you. My other rod just got smashed. Hey you bunch of fishing legends and welcome back to another episode. I've had a lot of comments of people saying they've never caught a mulloway. So I thought I'd, in this episode, I'd give you my five top tips for catching your first mulloway. My first tip would be to find a good gutter that's nice and deep and breaks close to shore. Check out my other videos for more info on finding a good gutter. Cheers. Get the burly going early tonight. Last trip I didn't get it going, get the burly going early enough. There's one tip I'll give you. Hopefully you can hear me, the wind's not too bad. Yeah, what want us you want something to keep your baits out of the sand? Use a cuttle, cuttlefish shell. Works awesome. Uh, get less sand on your baits, which makes them look more natural in it. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's unreal. Ten O hooks. That's a stonker mullet. That's going to be some great fresh bait right there. Ew. I'll keep that for change of tide. My second tip would be to throw out your rods with the freshest bait you can find. If not fresh, the freshest frozen bait you can find. Whatever it is, pilchard, squid or whole fish, the fresher the better. I knew it was, because there was only like little rat-a-tats after he hit. Hey legends, I hope you can hear me alright. This is a quick intro, a late intro, but first fish, first mulloway for a long time. That little one, but it's a mulloway. I'll get it back. Ew! Oh, she's off. Where'd she go? Yeah, she's off. Ew! give you when you get to the spot um, get you get get some burly happening whether it's uh, whether you use a scaler bag whether you cut up pillies uh, whether you got a burly bucket whatever you do get some burly going and try to be consistent with that and burly up 
every bait or every second bait if you can or if you got if you got the uh, scale of bag out you burn it up the whole time but I prefer to chop up pillies and chuck them out every every um, second bait it works for me anyway but that's my third tip Down the beach on a cold night. Need the fish to start biting now. Been pretty quiet so far. Yeah, hopefully you can see this, this all alright. But I'm just gonna chuck, put this pan out. Just not, not in too deep. He's a big, he's a big mullet, alright. Just in fairly shallow, so she swims around out there, and I got a hook trailing. I'm gonna chuck that out on waiter because I reckon if I put it out with a sinker, it would just wrap around the sinker. So I'm gonna chuck him out on waiter. He's still alive, but I'm having a lot of trouble keeping him out there. He just washes straight back up. That's the trouble with no sinker. Get out there and catch me a big one. Unfortunately, no hits on the mullet tonight. Keep that early going. Been a bit busy doing other things. Uh, it's time to get stuck in now. The tide's coming in. Just had a big bait smash. Get stuck into it now. Well, we can pull out of this gutter. Bloody good looking water. Finally! Another way. Very quiet night tonight, but a uh, second mull away. I'm going to tag this one 63 centimetres, get it back nice and healthy. You go, girl. There, he, there she goes. You I'm just hit it and swam straight in. Oh, not a bad fish. Yep. Looking better. Off you go, girl. Oh, yeah, she's off straight away. Eww. Don't forget to check me out on my Facebook page and on Instagram, Toddy's Mulloway Addiction. Eww. Hey, legends. And the uh, fourth tip, fourth tip I got for you is to bait up consistently and burly consistently the whole night. If you you want to catch a mulloway, you got to put in the put in the hours. Um, yeah, you might you might get lucky and uh, chuck a bait out and catch a mulloway on your first bait sometime, but. Most of the time, you got to put in a decent amount of hours to catch mulloway. So yeah, that's my uh, fourth tip. Be persistent and keep it up over the whole night. Uh, I reckon there's another little mulloway maybe. Yeah. Another little mulloway. Here you go, little girl. Oh, oh, there she goes. And there, and there, she's right. Oh, she goes. Ew! 
tell me I've actually caught something. Oh, I'll be bugger, I have to. Unbelievable. Talk about a long time between fish. Little mully. Oh, have a look at that. Long time between fish. But finally another fish. It's about Kurong legal that boy, I'll tell you what, I can't wait to get back in the Kurong. This beach is starting to drive me a bit crazy I think, but uh, yeah. Anyway, get her back. Wake me up a bit, been a while. Yeah. Number five of the night. Come on, Lauren. We're on. Finally. Eww. There is another Mulloway. <laughs> Not a bad one, though, but I feel it. Your head shakes. Waves bringing it up. Where is it? There it is. Yeah, Mulloway. Oh well, I was just thinking I was just about ready for bed. And the rod went off. That's a chunky fish for the size of it. Have a look at this, legends. It's uh, like quarter past two in the morning. Lauren finally caught a fish. 61 centimetres, get her back. That was on the pilly again. Oh, trusty pilly, eh? Get her back, you! tip I'd have for you would be to never give up you're gonna get a lot of fishless hours chasing mulloway before you work things out and you start catching mulloway consistently but yeah that'd be my final tip never give up keep baiting up keep burying chucking your baits out consistently all night and you'll catch fish eventually anyway legends thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one really soon. Eww. If you want to help support my channel, I'll leave a link in the description for my merch shop. Any support would be much appreciated.